I'm your boy Jim Holly, Race Day Live presented by Amsoil. This is the official post race show from round three in Anaheim. What was a truly uh, frightening and sad night here. Um, before we get to the bad news, we'll go ahead and start with that 250 main event, Jim. Well, that 250 race, I mean, what a great race uh, Justin Hill put together. He was fast all day. He was fast in both qualifying yeah. sessions. He comes up and he really wanted this one. He didn't get the start he wanted to, but he saw that Aaron Plessinger was getting into Austin Forkner. He says, that was my opportunity to go, and, and he went, and he just w ran away with that uh, 15 minutes plus one lap, but uh, not a bad ride for Aaron Plessinger. He was in second. He just couldn't, I don't think he had anything for Hill tonight, so he kind of backed it down and said, all right, I'll finish up where I'm at, and Shane McElrath, the guy who's won the first two, mm -hmm. finishes up third, tightens up the points, but he's still got that red uh, background for McElrath, and uh, it'll be good. We're going into a dome next weekend. Right. They're going to have a free practice. They're going to have two regular qualifying sessions, so it should be good next week in Phoenix. Right, and Justin Hill sure was hungry after almost coming you know, coming away with the victory in San Diego. He came in here and just pretty much put it to him. But uh, on to the big news uh, and throughout our industry. Uh, Kenny Roxon had a big crash in the 450 main event. You can go ahead and break the news, Jim. Yeah, it's just unfortunate making that, uh, you know, he's trying to run down his teammate, Cole Seeley, who was in second. Dungey gets that hole shot, and Dungey starts checking out. But Kenny Roxon, he had to come through the back. I mean, I, I believe at one point he was eighth or, ninth. eighth or ninth that first lap, and he was just coming through, guys, changing up different lines. Got held up behind Seeley a little bit and just made that little bit of a mistake. Uh, same thing that we saw happen to him in October mm -hmm. at the Monster Energy Cup. Just uh, made a mistake and jumped off. And uh, unfortunately, uh, he's in the hospital, and uh, hopefully he'll be okay. And we'll see if we can uh, see him next week. But you hear all kinds of rumors that he had a fractured his arm. But you never know until Word Honda. from American yeah. Honda is we have a, a fractured arm there you go. on Kenny Roxon. So uh, he'll be out indefinitely. We want to wish him the best and his team. But uh, meanwhile, Brian Dungey, uh, what more can you say? You know, rode good all day long. Actually had a bad heat race. Pulled off the track with a, a mechanical failure, came through the semi, started with a 13th gate pick, and uh, him and Cooper Webb came around for the main event with the whole shot. And uh, from there, Ryan just set sail. Yeah, he did, and, and I think that you know he knew that. I'm sure Carlos's mechanic let him know that hey, Kenny was buried in back in eighth or ninth that first lap, and Ryan knew he had to put down some hard, fast laps, and, and he did that, and he got a little bit of a gap though. But uh, you know, how about Marvin Muskin? You know, he's had two thirds, now he's got a Great second. Ride. And how about Cole Seeley getting up on that podium for Honda? At least uh, if there's any good news for Honda, Cole Seeley didn't get a third on the podium tonight for Honda. Right, Cole always strong in Anaheim. Marvin Muskin only seven points behind Dungey in the championship. But, uh, you know, without the, the misfortune of Roxon, it was a really, truly a great night other than the crash. Had 43,000 people here at round three at Anaheim. We're going to see you next week in uh, Phoenix for round four.